Okay, I think we are live and ready to go. So I'm gonna give it a minute and see who hops on to join. And today we're going to be talking about navigating the Bisu Boutique's website um, and answering any questions you might have about that and um, how to find the things that you're looking for, that sort of thing. I'm gonna show you um, both on the computer as well as on a phone because they can be a little bit different to navigate. So hopefully we'll get a couple of people that hop on here. Hi, ladies. Hi, Christine, Debbie. <laughs> yes, you beat beans, you sure did. So I was just saying we're gonna talk about navigating the website today. So while we're waiting for a couple of people to hop on, a couple more people to hop on, um, do you two have any questions about, hi Carol, about um, navigating the website, looking for things, um, that sort of thing? I know sometimes people um, have a little bit of trouble. Um, and so I thought maybe we could work through it together. So what I'm going to do is you're looking at my computer screen here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into my search bar here into Google search and I'm going to type in Bisu Boutiques and we'll head over to the website. And we will get started. Okay, so here is when you hop on to the website on the computer, what you're gonna see. Is this, does this look familiar to you guys? Is this what you see when you hop on? You're gonna see um, this big banner up at the top with some beautiful pictures of some different things that people have made. And the first thing you're going to see at the top of the page is this box over here where it says Get to Know BC Boutiques. And you can click on this little red button that says Shop Now. But if you do that, <clears throat> let's do it and I'll show you what it does. We'll click on the Shop Now button. Sorry, it's just taking a moment to go to the next page. While we're waiting for it to do that, you'll also notice up here on this pink banner, you'll see there whatever code is available for the week. Pertinent information there, it says free shipping on orders, $50 and up, and it'll switch out. Here you go, use, well, no, whatever, okay. We'll go back to that. But, so when you hit that Get to Know Bisu Boutique Shop Now, you're gonna come to a page and it shows all the products. Like everything we have is gonna come up here. And you can definitely shop that way if you like. Um, for me, it's not my favorite way to shop because it's not specific. It's not product specific. It's just everything. So if I go back to the main page, okay, and up here in this pink banner, you'll see there it says use 10 off 60 and you'll get 10% off 60 and up free. So up there in that pink banner, um, you'll see any pertinent information that you need to know about codes and things like that. So this box here, like I said, if you click shop now there, you're gonna find pretty much everything we have on the site, but in no particular order. Mostly new stuff will show up first. But if you're looking to see what's new, obviously this is the box you wanna to go to, shop the new stuff. And then there's also this one just back in stock. So let's click this one first. We'll go shop the new stuff. And that's where you're gonna see the stuff that I most recently loaded onto the site. Like this morning, I just put 
these Montes up this morning. These were just the other day. So you're going to see the most recent things that were loaded onto the website here where it says shop the new stuff. These trumpet beads are new. And you'll continue to go. Now down here you'll see it says page 1 of 33. So there are 33 pages right now of new stuff. But if you don't want to keep scrolling page after page after page, you can go over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Over here. And do you see where it says products per page? Right here. Products per page. And it says 15. You can click on this. And then you can choose how many you'd like to see show up. On, I always do 100 because then it's a lot less pages that I have to scroll through. You can also sort by the newest, price low to high, high to low, the most popular things, ones with the most availability. So there's a lot of different things you can do there. And then you can also filter. That's what these are. I don't think there's any other filters. No, these are the two filters for this. So you would choose, let's say we're going to go 100 per page and then apply filters. And then we're going to let it do its thing. And we'll see what we end up with. Okay, so now it flipped over and you see there's a lot more things showing. All the way down to 100. So now we only have five pages of things to scroll through instead of 33. And that's the way I prefer. And then of course I can go over here and go back to the top. Okay? So that's shop the new stuff. There was also the section on just back in stock and it's basically the same thing. You can filter it over here and then scroll through what just came back in stock. Now there's also a menu off to the side over here, I don't know why that keeps scrolling, I want to be over here, but where you can choose shop the new stuff, just back in stock this menu over here, products from our videos. If you're looking for something, if you saw something in a video and you're wondering where, where would I find that, you can click on products from our videos, video tutorials, YouTube videos, so let's see what happens when we click there. And you're and it's going to bring up videos from YouTube that you can click on and watch. Here's some of the recent Wednesday lives that we've done across the top. And it's easy to find them instead of going to YouTube and searching. Let's go back. Muses and classes over here. Hard to find items, workshops. If you want to try Haskell jewelry. So there's a lot of different things you can look at over here. Now, what is this thing? Here's something towards the bottom of that list. Teespring. Does anybody know what that is? Teespring? Did I lose y'all? Am I boring you to tears? Any questions? No? Okay, well let's click on Teespring. Did you know that there is Bisu Boutiques merchandise? So here you'll see a selection of some things. Pillows, little makeup pouches, t-shirts, coffee mugs, the famous rubber chicken, apron, journals, all kinds of different things that you can find here with different designs, stampings, bead candy mix, there's a hoodie, tote bag. So there's all kinds of stuff over here as well. And I don't know if um, a lot of you knew that was there. Like I, I even forget that that's there. So that's a fun place to look at um, as well. So let's go back. 
to the website. You can also, at the bottom of this list, over to the left, at the very bottom, let's see if I can, I don't think it's showing the very bottom there. Here is the creative group. You can click on that. And it'll tell you something about the creative group on Facebook. How to join the newsletter. All those things. And then up at the top of the page, you'll see all these things that my little arrow is rolling across. Yeah, t-shirts, Chris. All these things. It'll show you base. You can get to basic jewelry findings. What is that? It lists them all. Bales, chain, clasps, connectors, all those things. You can shop by color. If you're looking for blue beads, blue something, you can click on blue. Let's see what happens when I click on blue. And there you go. Anything that has to do with blue is going to be there. Brass stampings. And then you can choose the finish you're looking for. Charms, lockets, pendants. Bisu by 1928. Now, by the way, that's going away. So those things are on sale right now. Hi, Dara. The Bisu by 1928 line is on sale right now. So check that out for sure because once it's gone, it's gone. We have our flowers and leaves section. The trinket box, what is that? Well, that's different things. That's where you can find jewelry that Brenda has made, vintage pieces of jewelry, um, pet jewelry, different things like that. So our theme collections here, if you're looking for things related to the beach, like if this summer you wanna make beachy jewelry, you can, we're working on getting everything that fits that category loaded into this theme collection. So it's easy, so let's click on that beach. And look what we find. Mermaid sand, shells, our octopus friend, the different colors of mermaid sand, shell beads. Let's see what else is in here. Seahorses, mermaids, shell beads. So, buttons made out of shell so those theme collections are nice too if you're looking for something specific there's a love theme a floral theme western theme so sometimes that helps too your jewelry making tools so all the things here are fairly easy to find your order status is up here if you have an order going and you want to see what the status is you can always click there if you click here where the blog is Here is the blog that Brenda Sue has. Oh, look, there's Jordan and Lauren's two cats. How cute. I didn't know they were on there. All right, we'll go back. You can make a list of things that you eventually want to get. There's a way to contact us up here in the corner. This little guy, when you click on this little person right here, that's gonna take you to your account. You'll be able to search your order, different orders that you had, what was in them. If you're looking for something, oh, I know I ordered that before, but I can't find it now. You can click there. Type in your login and it'll give you your orders. It'll show you your past orders, and of course, this little shopping cart, that's where you, if you have a cart going, you can find anything that you've got going in your cart. Add, remove, check out all the things. Um, so does this all seem familiar to you? Does anyone have any questions, or are you pretty comfortable working with the, the website on the computer? I'm going to go back. And of course we have our search box right here that you can type in whatever you're looking for. So I'll type in mermaid. Lauren's always looking for mermaid stuff. And I'll search for mermaids. 
And it's going to bring up anything that has that name to it. So mermaid sand and anything with mermaids. We're going to see here. My suggestion too is when you're looking for something, mermaid is kind of an easy thing, but if you're looking for a specific, I don't know, a specific shell or a specific thing, try a couple different searches. Maybe blue shell if you think you remember it being blue. Or you can try just the word shell, but if that doesn't work, add other descriptive words to it. And hopefully that'll help you find what you're looking for. Okay, we also have our mixed media supply section. That's where you'll find glues, mica powders, sealants, resin, tissue paper, all of those things. Okay, so how about when you are searching on the phone? Do you guys find it easier to search the website on the computer, on your phone, iPad? What's easiest for you? I find for me that I tend to use my phone more because I'm sitting on the couch and that's what I'm doing. But I find for me it's a little easier to navigate when I'm on the computer. What do you guys think? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to I'm going to close the computer for a second. Oops, wrong button. And I'm going to show you on my phone. So I'm going to bring my phone up here in front of the camera while wow, there's a glare there, sorry. Let me see if I can tip this down so there's not too much of a glare. See if it'll make a difference. There, that's a little bit better. Yeah, Chris, I think the computer's easier. But anyway, so here's my phone. We're going to go. Let me log on there. We're going to go to Google. And why is it being so glary? Such a problem. Let me move this out of the way. Got all my junk here. All right, well, let's just pull up the website. And hopefully that'll show. I'm gonna tip this down. There we go. That's a little better. Let me tip it down some. Okay. So, wow, I don't know why that wants to keep doing that. I get it and then it doesn't wanna stay there. Okay, so there's the website. And you'll see it's a lot, the view is a lot smaller. Yeah, Dara, I do too, but I find that it's a little trickier, so that's what I'm gonna show you. So here we are, we saw our, we, there's our little person, there's our little cart. You can see I, I've started adding things to a cart. But if I go to the little person, and I do my login, I'm gonna pull this away and do my login. And then I'll show you um, what where it takes me. Sorry, you're looking at my messy desk. Okay, so it takes me to, it'll take you to where it says my account. And then if you see here, you can look at your orders, you can review orders, change quantities, change shipping, print invoice, you can do all kinds of stuff here. So let's go review orders. Sorry, it's taking a minute to switch. And you see there, you can also track your packages as well. Come on. Okay, so it gives me my order history, and then I can look back at all the things that I've ordered, how many of them I ordered, what the order number is, and all that fun stuff. 
Now, the other thing I found on my phone, if I ever want to go back to the main page and you can't figure out how, how to go back to the main page, just tap where it says BC Boutiques right there at the top and it takes you back to the main page. And it just you just have to scroll down more. It's not all in view at once like it is on the computer. There's Shop the New Stuff, Just Back in Stock, Top Sellers. You can scroll across and see what those are. But where do you find the menu, right? Where do you find the menu to choose what you're looking for? It's just where these three lines are. And then it'll open up and it'll show you basic jewelry, finding shop by color, all those same things that we saw on the computer, but they're gonna be up where those three lines were. And then the blog, your order status, your list, all those same things. And then you can just tap over back on this side and it goes away. You have your search box again. And then here I had clicked on just back in stock, so it's showing me all of those things. Now, if you go all the way to the bottom, and you can do this on the computer as well, it shows you how you can connect with us in all the different ways, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all those things. Just like on the website, you can join the newsletter. And then there's more information down here about us, privacy policy, contact us, all those things. Oops. So do you guys have any questions? Hi, Sheree. Do you have any questions on navigating things? I'm gonna go back up here to the computer. Am I boring you with this? I just thought there might be some newer people who really didn't, haven't used the website much and we're kind of curious about how to navigate around it. But if the, okay, Dara, I like, you can look at past orders. Yes, that's right. If you, if you're really looking for something specific, that's a good point because case in point, hi, Andrea, case in point, if you look at past orders, you're looking for a specific item and you can't find it. Um, if you have the item number and you call Jordan, sometimes we'll find out, oh, there's one left in the drawer and we didn't know it. Or we can order it. We're putting an order in, you know, within a few days and we can order it for you. Make sure it's on the order. You know, something like that. And for a quick example, we have the 1928 items on sale right now. And I was going through the drawer and I found a few items in the drawer that were not showing on the website. We had stock in them, but for some reason or other, there were two or three items that were not showing up. So let's go there. Let's see, we're gonna go up here and go to BSU by 1928. And the example I'll give you is old silver. I'm gonna go there. Okay, so for example, where are they? This piece right here, this bracelet connector, is a very popular piece. For some reason, those were in the drawer in our warehouse, but they were not showing on the site. And look how many we have. We have 28 in stock. So it never hurts if you're looking for something to just call and ask. If you're not seeing it on the website, more than likely it, the website is correct, but you just never know. Oh, that's a great idea, Dara. Screenshot the item. And yeah, that's a great idea. I've actually done that myself. I'll not screenshot, but I'll come in and I'll go, Jordan, I'm looking for this everywhere. I can't find it. Where is it? And maybe he set it off to the side or something. Who knows? Um, somebody was looking for those huggy earrings that Lauren and I showed in our video last week. And she couldn't find them on the site. But we found them. So, yeah, it never hurts to ask. So these, if you were thinking about getting some 1928 while they're on sale, these are something that were that was really popular. Um, and these, this little guy, this boxer dog, for some reason he wasn't showing up. I don't know why. So I just put him back in stock. 
So there's 25 of him. He's so adorable. But those two items, for some reason or other, I don't know if there was a glitch in the site or what, just weren't showing up. But now they are. So if, if you're ever looking for something, please don't hesitate to call us and ask us. Um, and if it's at all possible, we will figure out a way to make it happen. Whether it's putting it on an upcoming order or looking in the drawer, digging around, you never know. Um, so that backside of the order situation, you know, clicking on this little guy up here and checking out your orders, I do that quite a bit um, when I'm looking for certain things. Um, or maybe I just forgot what it's called, so when I search, I can't find it, but if I go back to that order, it's like, oh, right, it's called a connector, not a clasp, or whatever the case may be. Now, over here on the left side in this list that we looked at on the left, there was something that I forgot to show you. There's two things here. There are jewelry tutorials over here. So make sure that you really, you know, explore the website because there's a lot on here that you may not have seen before. So there are jewelry tutorials on how to make some pieces over here. Here's one with our famous octopus. There are three pages of tutorials there. And then also there is a gallery called something called a gallery of inspiration. Have any of you ever gone through there? Pictures of, oh, that's really pretty. Okay, and here, let's click on this because this actually uses that connector piece that I was just showing with a cab placed in the center of it. This one's in gold, but that silver piece I just showed you, that's this. What a cute bracelet. So there's ideas, um, some that Bisu has made, some that some of you have made. Um, here's some pieces that Jan has made. Um, oh, here's a necklace Lauren made that we showed in a video not too long ago. Um, but we'll be adding to this as well. Um, here's a wonky wire. We will be adding to these pictures as well. Um, for our gallery of inspiration and it's just ideas of fun things that you can make. Now what I wanted to see is I click on one of these. Oh this was Javi that made this. So pretty. Let's see. Karen Mansell. Danielle Clark. We have all cut. Chris Kemp. There you go. Different um, pieces that different ones have made. But like I said, we're going to be adding to that as well. So that's a fun place to go to. If you're, if sometimes I get a uh, mental block and I can't think up anything new. Does anybody else have that issue? I want to make something, but my brain is just not cooperating. Sometimes I just need a picture to spark an idea. Not that you have to make the exact same thing. Oh, this one's a bracelet that Colleen Bullock's made. Um, sometimes I just need a picture, and I'm not copying, but it gives me an idea. It just gives me an idea of something that I can make. Um, you know what I mean? Like, Or a piece that I could use in a way that I hadn't thought about. Um, for example, where did it go? When Lauren made this piece, she this was black matte, and she frosted it with, <coughs> I don't remember if she used Perfect Pearls or if she used Lunar Paste, but the effect was so pretty. And so that sparked me. Okay, I'm not going to make the exact same necklace she made, but I'm going to pull out some black matte that I have and play around with colorizing it. So yeah, so sometimes that's just fun to look through for that reason. Okay, what else? Let's go back to the main page. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh, on the main page too, there's an easy way as you see to find brass stampings instead of going to the menu 
you can click on any one of these and it'll take you straight to that coloration in the brass. Here's a block that'll take you straight to colored glass pearls, beads and rhinestones, muses and classes, and then some other things. The YouTube channel, it'll take you right there. Our creative Facebook group, featured products. There's so much on here. And then of course I showed you the Teespring, the merchandise with Bisu logos on it. So there's all kinds of things. Oh, reviews, there you go. You can check out what other people say. There is a link to our Etsy store and a link to the latest newsletter. So anything you really want is here. Frequently asked questions, the bottom, our address here. So I'm hoping that that helped a little bit. I know some of you who are on here, you're more experienced, you've been around for a little bit, but I hope that helped a little bit. And for anybody new who logs on here, if you were struggling, I hope that was informational and helpful to you. If you have any questions at all um, that you haven't asked, if you think of something later, just type it in here under the video and I will make sure to get back to you and answer your question. Um, is there anything else that you would like to know before I sign off? It's a beautiful day here in Ohio. The sun is out, the sky is blue, and it's making me very happy. It's not super warm, but that's okay. As long as the sun's out, I always feel better. I don't know about anybody else. Well, while we're waiting to see if anybody has a question, just for a couple minutes, I'll take you to the new stuff. Come on. And show you a few things so these i just put up this morning little glass stones uh, montes glue in or so on i love those this is pretty new i just put it up the other day you're welcome dara a new toggle and if you're looking for these um we had them in some colors, but BC, they, they were in the Snow White mixture. But if you just wanted these, I just put these up on Monday. And I actually grabbed a bag of them myself. You're welcome. I grabbed a bag myself because I need to finish wiring up my waterfall necklace from the class. And I needed to, I needed a few more of those. And I just wanted the Frosted Clear. So those are now available on their own. Like I said, the trumpet beads. Let's see what else is new here. Oh, it's running a little slow today. I don't know why. Oh, the wedding cake beads. Wow. They're moving pretty quick. Um, we got the leaves in these. Are the leaves these white ones? are the ones that Bisu used at the bottom of her waterfall necklace. Um, so we've put a lot of pieces and parts up lately. Like if you were somebody who didn't take the class, but you were thinking, oh, maybe I should have, but there's no kits left. I didn't get a kit and I'm making all three projects, but I didn't get a kit. I'm just using stuff I had and buying a few things um, I will post on the creative group. I posted in the class group, but I realized I didn't post in the creative group. Um, when I get off here, I'll post in the creative group the second project, project number two, the cascading charm necklace that I made. Um, and I did not have a kit. I just used what I had and bought some of the things that I needed from the website. And so you can, you will be able to see that um, you don't need a kit. You don't have, if, if you missed out, you weren't sure, but you now you're thinking, oh, I should, I, I, the class looks fun. You can definitely do it without the kit. So if you're looking for the class, how would we find the class? 
let us see. I don't see anything right here. So how are we gonna find the class? We'll go over to this left-hand column over here. And there it is, all muses and classes. I'm gonna click on that. And here, they, this is the one that we're in right now in the green, the winter workshop, 2024 winter workshop. And it is still available. There's also a few other classes available, the summer workshop, the last year's winter workshop, a few other ones as well. So check them out, but don't, don't feel like you can't do it without a kit. Like I said, I'll post a picture of my piece when we're done here just to kind of show you that that's not necessary. But I appreciate you hopping on here with me today. Thank you so very much. And we will be back next week, Wednesday, back in the kitchen. And we will see you then. Thanks, guys.